Um, for you guys, what were you trying to accomplish? What What did you feel like you guys achieved? Um, I was real happy with the way we played. Uh, I told the guys. Uh, Besides the first six minutes of the game, which happened again, uh, happened in game one, two, which we're going to have to figure out something there. Um, from that point on, we really started competing, uh, moving the ball, playing at a pace uh, that I think uh, gives us our best chance. And I think it's fun for the fans. I think the players enjoy playing like that. And, uh, you know, we did a lot of good things from that point on. Uh, but we got the, the the start of the games, and then they shot 21 free throws again in the first half. We got to stop fouling people. We held them to 35% from the floor today and lost because they shot 30 free throws and have 15 offensive rebounds. So that's some stuff um, that we'll continue to work on and clean up. But the overall effort from the guys, uh, I was I was very pleased with. What was it about the you know JC Larry Tarek? Yeah, I mean that's the same group that did it uh, in in Anaheim too. Uh, so you know I don't know what it is yet, uh, but it, I was you know part of the reason that I wanted to keep Brandon in the in the second unit tonight to see how they did again. Um, and you know they're you know it's a it's a good active young group for the most part. Uh, and they, you know, they got some basketball IQ there where they help each other a lot. Uh, but I, I mean, it's too early to tell exactly what it is. But they definitely, there's definitely something to that group. Luke, you mentioned that after the first six minutes, things got better. Meta played only six minutes. Was that an injury thing, or was that more of a? No, Meta was gonna. Uh, Meta was going to start the first half, and then Nick was going to start the second half uh, because part of the preseason, obviously, is trying to get a look at guys. And we have 20 on our roster, and, uh, you know, so we're giving guys different chances. Uh, you know, like, for example, Zoo, uh, Big Z didn't play much tonight. He played great when he did. Um, but on Sunday, he's going to play He's going to play a lot more minutes. Um, so it's just, it, it was not about injuries or performance. It was just kind of a, a schedule. Uh, we kind of scheduled the minutes out before the game so for the most yeah, part. Is it for, uh, Meta was six going into the yeah. game. You stayed there. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. How much did you discuss Brandon's play tonight? Who? Brandon Ingram. Uh, he was good at some things and bad at others. Um, I mean, he's, he's young. He still looks like he's rushing his shot a little bit. Um, which, you know, I'm not concerned with at all. I mean, the kid shoots lights out in practice pretty much every day. Uh, so I think once, you know, once the game slows down a little bit for him, he'll be fine. Um, and defensively, uh, when he's engaged and locked in, he's really good at defense. He gets deflections. He's, you know, he's reading passing lanes. Uh, every once in a while, he gets stuck just standing upright. And I think... Uh, Will Barton went by him one time, direct line uh, for a layup. But um, you know, for the most part, defensively he was pretty dang solid again tonight. And offensively, he always does the right thing. He's just not making shots right now. This summer, uh, Brandon said that he liked the pressure of having Kobe's locker at the practice facility, and he has it here too. Is that intentional? Is there something you guys are trying to? Well, it, it, I mean, I would assume I, I have nothing to do with that. I walked in today for the first time and saw him sitting in there and. Uh, asked him if he knew whose locker that was. Um, and he said that someone told him, so I don't know who put him there. Uh, the only difference was that he had, uh, I think, Zubok sitting next to him. And when Kobe sat there, was, Kobe's coat jackets were in the locker next to him. It was, <laughs> he, had, he had a double locker space. Um, but yeah, I don't. I, I had nothing to do with that. You having been a part of that team and in that locker room as a player and, and seeing Kobe's locker there all the time, was that kind of like a full circle moment for you walking in there and seeing? For sure, it was crazy. When I turned the corner and just looked, I was. Uh, it brought back a lot of really good memories uh, uh, from from the playing days, for sure. Um, and you know, you start to remember where everyone sat, that type of stuff. So it was, it was fun walking in there. Who is your last word, Russell? Uh, AB. So, and how much pressure comes with that for him? Well, he didn't make shots tonight, so probably a lot, probably a lot. Um, yeah, I used to. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. Some funny stories there about the lockers and everything. Uh, so listen, let's talk about this second unit.